I'm going to demonstrate another ability of this engine. Let's say that you have a spacecraft and you need it's on the ground, you need to take off. Well, you have to imagine there's a rotor inside here which powers a large turbofan that's built into the wing of your spaceship and it helps you take off. It's a radial turbofan. So basically You, the uh, rotor here helps your large kind of propeller-like turbofan move the air so you, you can take off. Okay, now, once you reach the edge of the atmosphere, you simply slide over this and you turn into rocket mode. And there. Most of your thrust is now going to be coming up here. As you can see, I've got a lot of leakage here. This is just a very crude demonstration. But you can see you've got a pretty nice uh, rocket trail there. Also, I should note that if you were to do this, you would have your rotor in here. You would actually furl the blades once you reach the edge of the atmosphere. And you'd have, basically, this would become like a gyroscope. And so that you would have, you'd actually go from auto to diesel, to Brayton, to rocket cycles. So the engine would actually go through four different types of modes or cycles. And then, you'd, you'd have your output here for the rocket engine.